वेलकम टू एवरी वन माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर दीपमाला गुप्ता असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर स्कूल ऑफ साइंस डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ केमिस्ट्री यू पी राशि टंडन ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी प्रयागराज टूडे वी विल बी स्टार्टिंग विथ यूनिट टू मैकेनिज्म ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक रिएक्शन एंड रिएक्शन इंटरमीडिएट्स मॉड्यूल थ्री कोर्स कोड यू जी सी एच ई वन जीरो टू कोर्स टाइटल ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री वन बेसिक ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री In the last lectures, we talk about curved arrow rotation, drawing electron movement with arrows, half-headed and double-headed arrows, homolytic and heterolytic bond breakings, and types of reagents like electrophiles and nucleophiles, types of organic reactions, substitution reactions, addition reaction, elimination reactions, and rearrangement reactions. Today we will be starting with and reaction intermediates module three. Now reaction intermediates, as we know, in most of the organic reaction involves the cleavage of covalent bonds existing in the molecules of reactants. The cleavage of bond leads to the formation of certain highly reactive species called reaction intermediates. these species are short lived and cannot be isolated they are responsible for the progress of an organic reaction because most of the organic reaction occurs through them only free radical carbocations carbonanions carbenes arenes and nitrines are some of the common reaction intermediates free radicals a free radical may be defined as an atom or group of atoms having an unpaired electrons these are produced on account of the homolytic fission of a covalent bond in the presence of heat or light this reaction shows homolytic fission of covalent bond between a and b in the presence of heat or light gives free radical a and p and this reaction shows homolytic fission of carbon carbon bonds in chlorine atom in presence of ultraviolet light to gives chlorine free radicals free radicals are short lived and highly reactive because they have a strong tendency to pair up they are unpaired electrons now classification of free radicals depending upon the nature of carbon carrying the unpaired electron the free radicals may be classified in the following three categories these are primary free radical secondary free radical and tertiary free radical primary free radicals these possess unpaired electrons on a primary carbon atom example this structure shows primary free radical in this structure central carbon atom have one alkyl group and this is the methyl free radical and this is ethyl free radical in this case carbon atom have one methyl group now secondary free radicals these possess unpaired electron on a secondary carbon atom example this structure shows secondary free radical in this case central carbon have two alkyl group and this is the two propyl free radical or isopropyl free radical in this case central carbon have two methyl group tertiary free radicals these possess unpaired electrons on a tertiary carbon atom example in this case central carbon have three alkyl group and this is the example of tertiary free radical two methyl two propyl free radical or tertiary butyl free radical in this structure central carbon have three methyl group now orbital structure of free radicals alkyl free radicals are planar species 
the central carbon atom present in an alkyl free radical is in a state of sp2 hybridization the three sp2 hybrid orbitals of the central carbon atom lie in a plane of an angle of 120 degree and overlap with the orbital of hydrogen atom or alkyl group to form sigma bonds the unhybridized 2b orbital of the central carbon atom contain the unpaired electron as shown in figure and this is the orbital structure of an alkyl free radical here r an alkyl group or hydrogen atom here the central carbon have three sp2 hybridized orbital in which three hybrid orbitals overlaps with alkyl group or hydrogen atom gives sigma bond the bond angle between two sigma bond is 120 degree and carbon atom also have an unhybridized p orbitals which have unpaired electron stability of free radicals free radicals are very short lived species and therefore they are quite reactive the order of stability follow the order tertiary free radical is more stable than secondary free radical and then primary free radicals thus the reactive stability of these are in the order of this here tertiary free radicals is more stable than isopropyl free radical because in this case central carbon atom have three methyl group while in isopropyl free radical central carbon have only two methyl group and here ethyl free radical and methyl free radical both are primary free radical but ethyl free radical is more stable than methyl free radical because in case of ethyl free radical central carbon have one methyl group the relative stability of free radicals can be explained on the basis of hyperconjugation effect greater the hyperconjugation effect greater is the electron release towards the terminal carbon and lesser is the stability of the free radicals since hyperconjugation effect is minimum for a tertiary butyl group hence tertiary butyl free radical is most stable next carbocations the chemical species which possesses a positively charged carbon center are called carbocations the central carbon bearing positive charge in a carbocations contains six electrons in its valence shell earlier these ions were termed as carbonium ions a carbocation is formed by the hydrolytic fission of the carbon halogen bond where x is more electrolytic than carbon present in an organic molecule as shown below in this reaction this shows hydrolytic fission of carbon halogen bond here x is more electronegative than carbon and then gives carbocation during the hydrolytic fission the shared pair of electrons of the carbon halogen bond is taken away by the more electronegative species that is x resulting in the development of a positive charge on carbon and a carbocation is formed classification of carbocations carbocations are classified on the basis of nature of carbon atom bearing a positive charge there are three types of carbocations primary carbocation secondary carbocation and tertiary carbocation here this is the primary carbocation 
and this is also a par uh, primary carbocation in ethyl carbocation central positively charged carbon have one methyl group but in case of isopropyl carbocation positively charged carbon atom has two methyl group in case of tertiary butyl carbocation positively charged carbon atom have three methyl group here both methyl carbocation and ethyl carbocations are primary carbocation but in case of ethyl carbocation positively charged carbon atom have one methyl group orbital structure of carbocations the central carbon atom present in a carbocation is in a state of sp2 hybridization the three sp2 hybrid orbitals of this carbon lie in one plane at an angle of 120 degree these orbitals overlap with the orbitals of hydrogen atom or alkyl groups to form sigma bond the unhybridized 2p orbitals remains vacant in a carbocation as shown in figure the positive charge is present on the central carbon which is sp2 hybridized due to sp2 hybridization carbocations are planar species and this is the orbital structure of carbocation here r is an alkyl group or hydrogen atom and here the positively charged carbon atom have three sp2 hybridized orbital which overlaps with the alkyl group or hydrogen atom gives sigma bond the bond angle between two sigma bond is 120 degree and the positively charged carbon atom also have one empty unhybridized pre orbital next stability of carbocations carbocations are formed as reaction intermediate and are very reactive this is because the central carbon bearing a positive charge contains only 6 electrons in its valence shell and has a great tendency to complete the octet hence a carbocations combines readily with any substance that can donate a pair of electron to it the stability of different types of carbocations is in the order tertiary carbocation is more stable than secondary carbocation than primary carbocations the reactive stability of carbocations can be explained on the basis of inductive effect when an electron repelling group is attached to the central carbon bearing positive charge the magnitude of positive charge on the central carbon decreases due to pumping of electrons by the electron repelling group that is dispersal of positive charge by plus i effect and makes the carbocation more stable since a tertiary carbocation contains three alkyl groups attached to the central carbon plus i effect is the strongest in it and consequently it is more stable on the other hand primary carbocation contains either one or no alkyl group attached to the central carbon atom the dispersal of positive charge due to plus i effect is minimum and hence primary carbocation is the least stable here tertiary butyl carbocation is most unstable than isopropyl carbocation because here the positively charged carbon atom has three methyl group while in case of isopropyl carbocation positively charged carbon atom have only two methyl group and here ethyl carbocation and methyl carbocations both are primary carbocations but in case of 
methyl carbocation positively charged carbon atom is attached with one methyl group since the order of reactivity is reverse of stability the reactivity of carbocations follows the order primary carbocation is more reactive than secondary carbocations and then tertiary carbocation next carbon anions the chemical species which possesses a negatively charged carbon center are called carbon anions the central carbon bearing the negative charge contains a pair of available electrons it has a complete octet a carbon anion is formed by the heterolytic fission of the cy bond present in an organic molecule as shown below and this reaction shows heterolytic fission of cy bond here y is less electronegative than carbon and gives carbon anion during the heterolytic fission the shared pair of cy bond remains with the central carbon and this develop a negative charge on it and a carbon anion is formed now classification of carbon anions like carbocations carbon anions are also classified on the basis of nature of carbon bearing the negative charge here there are three types of carbon anions primary carbon anion secondary carbon anions and tertiary carbon anions and in this structure methyl carbon anion and ethyl carbon anion both are primary carbon anion but in case of ethyl carbon anion center negatively charged carbons attached with one methyl group and here this is a secondary carbon anion example isopropyl carbon anion in this case central negatively charged carbon attached with two methyl group and in case of tertiary butyl carbon anion the central negatively charged carbon is attached with three methyl group orbital structure of carbon anion the central carbon atom present in a carbon anion is in a state of sp3 hybridization among the four sp hybrid orbitals the three hybrid orbital overlap with the orbitals of alkyl group or hydrogen atoms and form sigma bonds the fourth sp3 hybrid orbitals contain the lone pair of electrons thus a carbon anion usually assume a pyramidal structure as shown in figure and this is the orbital structure of a carbon anion here central negatively charged carbon have four sp3 hybrid orbital in which three hybrid orbitals overlaps with alkyl group or hydrogen atom to give sigma bond and the fourth sp3 hybrid orbital contains the lone pair of electron and this shows pyramidal structure next stability of carbon anion although the central carbon atom in a carbon anion possesses an octet the carbon anions are very reactive intermediates and this is due to due to the presence of a negative charge on the central carbon atom since the central carbon atom possesses an easily available pair of electrons carbon anions are readily attacked by electron deficient species that is electrophiles the stability of carbon anion is the order primary carbon anion is more stable than secondary carbon anion than tertiary carbon anion the stability of carbon anions can be explained in terms of inductive effect greater the number of alkyl group 
attached to the central carbon atom greater is the increase in the magnitude of negative charge on central carbon due to plus i effect and lesser is the stability of the carbon ion in a tertiary carbon ion three alkyl groups are attached to the central carbon atom bearing the negative charge the alkyl groups are electron repelling groups and have a tendency to increase the magnitude of negative charge on the central carbon this decrease in the stability of the ions on the other hand primary carbon ion contains either one or no alkyl group attached to the central carbon atom hence the magnitude of negative charge either increases slightly or remains almost the same this is why primary carbocations are most stable thus the reactivity of carbon ion follows the order tertiary carbon ion is more reactive than secondary carbon ion than primary carbon ion here methyl carbon ion and ethyl carbon ions are both primary carbon ion but methyl carbon ion is most stable than ethyl carbon ion because in ethyl carbon ion negatively charged carbon atom have one methyl group and here isopropyl carbon ion is a secondary carbon ion it is more stable than tertiary butyl carbon ion because in tertiary butyl carbon ion central negatively charged carbon atom attached with three methyl group while in case of isopropyl carbon ion the negatively charged carbon is attached with only two methyl group next carbene carbenes are neutral carbon species in which the carbon atom is bonded to two monovalent atoms or groups and carries a lone pair of electrons these are usually produced either by photolysis or by pyrolysis of diazoalkanes and ketenes example in this reaction diazomethane in presence of light or heat gives methylene carbene in this case ketene in presence of light or heat gives methylene carbene but in this case chloroform in the presence of sodium ethoxide gives dichlorocarbene carbenes are short lived and highly reactive species this is because the central carbon atom in a carbene possesses an incomplete octet that is have only 6 electron in the valence shell and has a strong tendency to achieve an octet next orbital orbital structure of carbenes here there are two types of carbenes singlet carbenes and triplet carbenes first is singlet carbenes in a singlet carbene the central carbon atom is an is in a state of sp2 hybridization among the three sp2 hybrid orbitals two overlap with the orbitals of monovalent atom or group to form two sigma bond while the third sp2 hybrid orbital contains the lone pair of electron the unhybridized p orbital is empty as shown in figure thus a singlet carbene has a bent structure and this shows the structure of singlet carbene and here central carbon has three sp2 hybrid hybrid orbitals in which two hybrid orbitals overlap with 
monovalent atoms or groups form sigma bond the bond angle between two sigma bond is 120 degree here the central carbon also have an empty unhybridized p orbitals and the third sp2 hybrid or, hybrid orbitals have lone pair of electrons and this structure shows bent structure next triplet carbene in a triplet carbene the central carbon atom is in a state of sp hybridization the two sp hybrid orbitals overlap with the orbitals of monovalent atom or group to form two sigma bonds the two unhybridized p orbitals contain one electron each that is electrons belonging to the lone pair the triplet carbene has a linear structure as shown in figure and this shows the structure of triplet carbene here central carbon has two sp hybrid orbital which overlaps with monovalent atom or groups form two sigma bond and here central carbon also have two unhybridized p orbital which contain one electron each thus a triplet carbene has a linear structure here it is to be noted that triplet carbene is more stable than singlet carbene next arenes arenes may be defined as aromatic compounds containing a formal carbon carbon triple bond the best known arene is benzene which may be regarded as the aromatic counterpart of acetylene or in other words it is benzene minus 2 ortho hydrogens and can also be called dihydrobenzene and structure of benzene this shows a structure of benzene here in this case this structure shows two sp2 hybrid orbital outside the benzene ring and shows one abnormal pi bond when halobenzene is heated with soda amide formation of benzene takes place in this reaction chlorobenzene react with soda amide gives benzene benzene is neutral reactive intermediate its intermediate is aromatic in nature it behave as dienophile and gives dies elder reaction with dienes it reacts with strong nucleophiles like nh2 here benzene react to nh2 and gives benzamide next nitrines the nitrogen analogs of carbenes are called nitrines there is a possibility of two spin state of nitrines depending on whether the two non bonding electrons the normal nitrogen lone pair remains paired have their spin paired or parallel and this shows the structure of nitrines and this structure shows two lone pair of electrons in general nitrines obey hund rules and are ground state triplet with two degenerate sp orbital containing a single electron each and this is the structure of nitrines here it shows two degenerate sp orbitals containing a single electron thank you